Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this story. I'm going to try and upload a new story each day. The Cursed Carousel Chronicles Holly and her group of friends had always been drawn to adventure, especially when it came to exploring the forgotten corners of the Isle of Wight. Their latest escapade led them to an abandoned theme park hidden deep within the island's forests. Overgrown with ivy and shrouded in mystery, the park seemed frozen in time, a relic of a bygone era. As they wandered through the dilapidated rides and crumbling attractions, they stumbled upon an antique carousel, its once vibrant colors faded, and its wooden horses withered by years of neglect. Despite its eerie appearance, there was something mesmerizing about the carousel, beckoning them closer. Curiosity got the better of them, and Holly's friends dared her to take a ride on the ancient carousel. With a mixture of excitement and trepidation, Holly climbed onto one of the creaking horses, her friends joining her on neighboring mounts. As the carousel began to turn, they felt the strange sensation wash over them like being pulled into a vortex of time and space. When the carousel finally slowed to a stop, Holly and her friends found themselves in a different time, surrounded by the bustling energy of the theme park in its heyday. But there was something off about this place, something sinister lurking beneath the surface. As they explored further, they discovered the dark history of the park and its cursed attractions. Each ride had a tale of tragedy and death associated with it, from the haunted house where visitors had mysteriously disappeared to the ferris wheel that had collapsed, claiming the lives of innocent thrill-seekers. Holly and her friends soon realized that they were not alone in the park. Shadowy figures lurked in the corners, whispering of ancient curses and vengeful spirits. And as night fell, the park came alive with malevolent forces, the rides twisting and contorting into grotesque shapes, the air thick with the scent of decay. Desperate to escape the nightmare they had stumbled into, Holly and her friends raced back to the carousel, hoping it would return them to their own time. But as they reached for the brass ring that would activate the mechanism, they felt a cold hand grip their hearts with fear. For the carousel was not just a means of transportation, it was a gateway to the darkest depths of the human soul, conduit for the spirits trapped within the cursed attractions. And now, as the carousel began to turn once more, Holly and her friends realized that they were trapped in a never-ending nightmare, doomed to ride the cursed carousel for all eternity. As the carousel spun faster and faster, Holly and her friends clung to the decrepit horses, their screams drowned out by the sinister laughter echoing through the park. Time seemed to blur, merging past and present into a twisted tapestry of horror. With each revolution, they were forced to relive the tragedies that had befallen the park's visitors over the years. They witnessed the screams of terror as the haunted house claimed its victims, the agonized cries of those who perished on the malfunctioning roller coaster, and the haunting melodies of the carousel itself, luring unsuspecting souls to their doom. But amidst the chaos and despair, Holly refused to give up hope. She clung to the memories of her friends, the warmth of their laughter, and the bond that had always held them together. And as the carousel reached its crescendo, she made a desperate plea to the spirits that held them captive. With tears in her eyes and fear in her heart, Holly begged for release, for redemption, for a chance to break free from the curse that bound them. And to her astonishment, her words seemed to resonate with the ancient magic that permeated the carousel. As the ride ground to a halt, the air grew still, and a hushed silence descended upon the park. Holly and her friends cautiously stepped off the carousel, their hearts pounding with anticipation. And as they looked around, they realized that the park had changed once more. The ivy had receded, the ride stood tall and proud, and a soft light illuminated the path ahead. With a sense of awe and wonder, they realized that they had been granted a second chance, a chance to rewrite the dark history of the park to undo the tragedies of the past. And so, with newfound determination, Holly and her friends set out to restore the park to its former glory, to honor the memories of those who had been lost, and to ensure that the curse of the carousel would never again haunt the Isle of Wight. As they worked tirelessly to rebuild the park, they felt a sense of peace wash over them, knowing that they had overcome the darkness that had once threatened to consume them. And though the scars of their ordeal would always remain, they emerged from the shadows stronger, braver, and more united than ever before. And so, as the sun set on the Isle of Wight, Holly and her friends stood together, watching as the carousel turned one final time, its melody fading into the night.
And as they walked away, hand in hand, they knew that they had triumphed over evil, and that the cursed carousel would forever be nothing more than a distant memory, a cautionary tale of the power of friendship, courage, and redemption. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story. Please don't forget to like and even better like and subscribe. Thank you very much and I hope you have had or have a great day.